Hi guys, this is Vishal. In this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, simple graph modeling and the breath and hands line drawing algorithm. So to begin with, here we have a graph sheet with a simple 2D diagram that comprises lines. And I've defined all the coordinates of all the starting and ending points of these lines. And also the X axis and the Y axis is shown here with the origin. And apart from this, I've also mentioned the scale. So here, uh, the X axis one centimeter is 50 units and the Y axis is also one centimeter equals 50 units. Um, the basic idea of uh, graph modeling is to get a good idea of what you're going to be drawing on the computer before actually doing it. So you'll have a good overview on all the lines, the shapes, and the coordinates that are that goes into the drawing. Now moving on to the Bresenham's line drawing algorithm. Here I'm using a library called p5.js, which is a JavaScript library. It essentially has two parts. One function is called the setup function, where you make your initializations, and you have the draw function, where whatever is written inside it is on a continuous loop. And initially I've defined a canvas of 500 by 500 units. And to sort of scale up stuff, I've um, made these grid lines and all the X and Y uh, points are scaled up according to these grid lines. So initially what I've done is uh, I have, have this uh, small reference line, which you can see here. And on top of that, I'm gonna be drawing the line defined by the Bresenham's, uh, Bresenham's algorithm. So the starting points I've defined are right here. You can see x1, y1, and x2, y2. And so the main crux of this algorithm is you have a reference point and based on the reference point's position, it decides if it has to go east or northeast. In this case, it's gonna be southeast because um, according to this coordinate system, the x-axis increases this way and the y-axis axis increases this way. So once the check happens, it decides and moves forward. And apart from that, we have the actual line being defined here. And this returns the actual value to be compared with. By changing the values, you can see that this Algorithm adapts the new line and draws the new line here. And so another example would be this. And so this is a basic implementation and so this does not exploit the symmetry of the line or any sort of parallelism. And to make this faster, you could uh, sort of have, instead of starting from the start point and moving to the end point, you can find the midpoint which is right here and you could start from both the directions and finish in the midpoint. Another interesting way to do it would be if you can recursively binary, do a binary split until some stopping condition and once you reach that you can take each of these new points as a starting point and um, apply the Bresenham's line drawing algorithm parallelly. Thank you.